So I'm going to show you a glitch on the lab rats as well as to explore the out of bounds world of it. So first thing we need to do before doing the glitch is take a few hostages, just a handful of hostages. This will be your insurance policy in case you go down and your crew cannot revive you. What happens in Payday, and I love this, <laughs> Payday add, add, added, added this as a mechanic. So if you go down out of bounds and you pretty much get taken into custody, you will spawn out of bounds. It doesn't respawn you back in the map. It respawns you where you died. So if you died out of bounds, you will respawn out of bounds. I love that mechanic. <laughs> I don't know why that is a mechanic, but it is. So you're going to come to this big beak here, the really tall one. And you're going to come to the right side of this beaker. You're going to jump and you're going to feel yourself get caught on this like weird ledge. And you're just going to crouch when you feel that. So all I'm going to do is crouch and then boom, you're going to go down. Hopefully, your team can get you from this position. I say that, whilst none of them are actually going to get me. But this is why you need the hostages, because if you go into custody, like I said, and your team trades you, you will re respawn out of bounds. So now we wait till we respawn. So once you have been traded, like I said, you'll just spawn <laughs> out of bounds. And now we're going to drop down here onto the floor yeah just drop down hopefully my team will be able to pick me up i i swear they can pick you up from here sometimes but if i cannot be revived which is pretty much going to be the case once again that's why we have the hostages as an insurance policy so when i get <laughs> back in custody they can trade me once again as long as they keep the hostages and i think they do stay near the hostages so I now can be traded and there we go, we are out of bounds, fully out of bounds, we're under the table and now we are free to explore. Few little things, the entire floor is solid so you can explore this entire floor and we're going to be exploring some things like what is down the creepy stairs, what's behind these doors, is there anything behind these doors? what's over there so let's begin our exploration so over here there's just some boxes and some rubbish that is absolutely gigantic we are so small on this mission it's pretty cool to have a mission like this a radiator that is gigantic i i just wonder like in toy story how the hell did they manage to climb up things like look at the size of that that's mount everest compared to me right i how did woody and buzz explore so here we have, what is this salt? Rock salt? A big bag of rock salt here. 50 pounds of rock salt. So I don't even know how much we would weigh. If, we're, if that's 50 pounds and we're this small, <laughs> I don't know how much we would weigh. This door, there's absolutely nothing in there. I mean, I could go through, but most likely, yeah. If you shoot a bullet and it doesn't land on the surface, it means you're going to go through that texture that object and i can tell that i'm just going to go through there and there's nothing there we can kind of get a peek anyway and we can see it's just a void a white void so nothing is behind door number one and that door handle's not really on properly it's a massive door but nothing's behind door number one here we have some caustic soda that I don't know what is his name. The guy who keeps talking to you, he's so annoying. He just keeps going, No, caustic soda. Actually, no, caustic. He's so annoying. But yeah, two big bottles of caustic soda that are solid. I don't understand why objects outside of the bounds are solid. It doesn't make sense. Here's a massive towel that is not solid. <laughs> so it doesn't make sense. Why is that solid? And then this isn't. Doesn't make sense. Here we have a massive pumpkin, a jack-o'-lantern. Look at the size of this thing. That is terrifying. I'm, I'm shaking. I'm so nervous. I'm scared. Is it solid? It is. It's solid and indestructible. Making our way over here, we have two giant buckets. I'm not sure what these buckets are. What does it say? Oh, it says don't climb in it if you're a baby. It's pretty much what it says. I mean... I guess that's a good one. What does it say? <laughs> I'll read it if my character stops being nervous. Children can fall into bucket and drown. Keep children. I think that's spelled wrong. Children. Yeah, it says chill den, not children. Yeah, man. Spotted that mistake there. 
keep children away from bucket with even a small amount of liquid some good advice here was this uh, oh my god this is so hard to read i think this is just in a different language that's why it's so hard to read <laughs> so yeah bit of a warning don't let your child in a meth bucket who would have thought meth would be bad for a kid this bucket is solid as well look at that we can almost get under that tap don't know what this bucket contains but i'm pretty sure it's not for children anyway is anything on this level for children can i climb this i feel like i can oh i can i can climb this bag of rock salt here we go uh, 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 uh. there we go ow that kind of hurt but now we're on top of this big bucket is that blood <laughs> i think a baby already fell in there if that's blood yeah how am i gonna get down now so you never think about this in Toy Story, do you? The dilemmas they have, like, oh yeah, I've got up here, but how do I get down? Okay, we'll just get down the same way. Uh oh, I think I'm dead here. Yeah, I, I don't know why I jumped off. I could have just walked down. Please pick me up. I, I can't be bothered. We have no hostages as well. Oh my god. Yes! Thank you! You can get me over here, but you couldn't get me when I was a foot away from you. Thank you. You actually saved the video there. Thank you. <laughs> Here's another pumpkin. Is it solid? It is. So yeah, be careful because you are tiny and things are way out of proportion. So if you jump off things, you most likely are going to die. Here's the chemical symbols and all that good stuff. I don't really care. And you can see that from there. So that's not really important. Let's go over here. Is there a spider under here? Because if you remember, a spider comes on to here. And I was wondering where the spider spawns. It might spawn there. Or it might spawn here. Let's go over here. We got some denatured alcohol over here next to a, a bear. These are terrible parents. <laughs> Having denatured alcohol next to your child's teddy bear is not good. This is 2014. It expires. Oh, that's the copyright that expires. <laughs> I wonder if this is a real place. I'm pretty sure it is. Right? And I wonder if that's a real number. <laughs> Maybe it is. What does denatured alcohol do? It's a glass cleaner, clean burning fuel for marine stores beautiful thank you is it solid is it, yeah it's a solid object so it's just a little warning about how explosive denatured alcohol is and flammable the teddy bear is not solid is the propane solid no the propane is not solid either is the box solid no the box is not solid either and there's no spider here either in this web that i thought there would be i thought the spider would spawn here but I guess not. Two jackalatons over there. I'm not sure if they're solid or not. I think they are. Propane again, not solid. So we'll just continue exploring. Uh oh, are you the spider? Oh, there it is! Holy hell! Oh, it's gone. Ah, oh. well, we had a glimpse of the spider. So the spider just spawns under the table and then despawns it doesn't actually come out of like this position scurrily scurry along and then jump up there that's interesting to know another area let's see what's behind door number two i think if i remember correctly never mind forget what i said all right i'm pretty sure there's nothing behind door number two either it just looks yeah it, there's, it's not solid yeah there's nothing behind door number two either so unsurprisingly like what did you expect there's not really going to be anything behind the but let's have a look at the stairs can we go on the stairs oh wow oh wow we can see right down oh what the oh my god that scared me <laughs> that sniper scared me oh jesus where's the sniper spawn on there that's clever that is clever so the stairs lead to absolutely nothing just a dark menacing hallway i wonder if we go around can we oh the spider's back the spider's back i wonder if we can get to the hallway there's a spider look at the size of that thing what the hell oh, oh you can shoot it oh wow that is terrifying why can I not go past the boundary? There we go. Okay, there's a little invisible barrier here for some reason. I'm not sure what that is about, but yeah, there's a barrier that's stopping us 
from going back over here. Okay, it's gone now. Can we go under here? Yes, we can. That's pretty cool. Stop shooting me, bro. How have you even got an angle on me from here? Like, how are you shooting me from there? Alright, what I wanted to do was go here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we do that, that's just reminded me. I just heard the crying girl and I thought it was someone outside. There is a crying girl in, like, a pan. But, if we look under, we can see there's no crying girl under the pan. So, the crying girl does not exist. If you've ever wondered where the crying girl is, does she exist? No, she doesn't exist. And let's see if there's anything in this hallway. I mean, we can just run on this. Okay, cool. We can just run through this. Nice. Alright, we're just going to keep exploring. Can I go through? The Will I fall through? No. Oh, alright. Alright, so we can see the entire hallway. And we can see there's absolutely nothing in this hallway. This dark hallway leads to absolutely nowhere. So if you ever wondered what's down the creepy stairs, nothing. I feel like I'm not 0.5 live where it's like, what happens if Franklin kills Trevor in mission one? And it's like, nothing's going to happen because the game's not programmed like that. But it's cool just to see out of bounds if they hide any secrets. Some game developers do, but not overkill because I don't think overkill expect you to get out of bounds in their game even though Payday 2 is one of the easiest games I've ever played to get out of bounds on I've got so many glitches on this game it's unreal I'm not saying I discovered this glitch by the way I found it on my own but then I looked it up to see if anyone else found this glitch and turns out quite a few people have but most people did it on multiplayer but you can do this solo as I have proven Okay, let's go back to this door a minute. I'm gonna actually go through this door. Why is there, why is there a boundary here? Oh, spider, 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 spider. If this spider dies and falls on me, I'll cry. I'll actually cry live on video. <laughs> it's actually kind of scary. Oh my god. It's gone. Okay. It's gone. It's gone. I wonder if you can kill that spider. I don't know. I haven't played too much of this level. I just tried to break it. That's all I care about. Breaking games. Alright. We have to go around this stupid... Why is there an invisible barrier here? It makes no sense. Now, let's go through this door. Because I want to see something, right? I know in Pair Day 2, where snipers spawn, that little plaque they spawn on is a solid object so I know that if you die or fall off the map you can sometimes be spawned respawn sorry where the snipers are and I'm just gonna see if I drop down here will I spawn over here where that sniper died where the sniper was over here that's why I want to test that's why I'm going through this door as you can see nothing oh <gasps> yes you can Right, so this is where one of the snipers would be, up here. Oh, very cool. Very cool indeed. So this is what it's like to be a sniper. Boom! <laughs> Did I kill him? I think I killed him. I think he's dead. Look at my team there, just like, bro, how the hell did you get there? Don't oh, ask questions. Don't ask questions, big man. I'm just going to wait for a sniper to come here. And they'll be like, what the hell? <laughs> How did you get here? I wonder if I can get on there. No, I can't. My bullets are going through, which means it's not a solid object. Stop crying, the little girl crying. You're not even there. Unless you're a ghost, that makes sense. But you're not under there. So stop crying like you need help. Oh, I'm stuck under a pan. We've glitched out the map. Under the map, sorry. And we saw that you're not there. You're just a fraud. You're a fawny. Okay, all of this is not solid. It's only like this bit that is solid. As you can see. Oh wow, so we've got to be very careful on here. That's what I mean. There's only like a little plaque that is solid where the snipers spawn. It's not an entire area. Like this, yeah, this isn't all, oh, all, oh, this isn't solid. And that bit will be solid, but I don't know how to get over there. I don't think if I go out that way that it will spawn me on there. Just simply because it will most likely put me back in the map. Oh, 
Is that Sam? Oh, hello. How are you? Yeah, you didn't expect me. Uh, bro, what are you doing, bro? Dallas, what are you doing? I was going to kill him. I wanted to talk to him first, but he just killed him. Mop it, mop it, mop it. Not ever think you're sick being here, bro. I'm over here. They can't get me from here. Bro, I did. Problem is, how the hell am I getting down? I think I'm just going to have to jump down. Goodbye, everyone. I just broke my legs. Snapped and clean off. I wonder if they can get me from here. <laughs> Wick, help me, bro. I'm on stairs. Yeah, they're not getting me this time. And we've got no hostages, so I'm pretty much dead. But I think that's about it for this video. I think we've explored the boundary out of bounds. Not too much there. There's some weird stuff that's solid. I don't get why some of this stuff is solid when it's out of bounds. I don't understand that. But we are oh, okay. Yeah, we're done. We managed to get onto the sniper area, which was pretty cool. We figured out there's no crying girl under the pan. We figured out there's nothing in the hallways, the dark, scary hallways. And we discovered that the spider spawns and despawns and doesn't actually stay in one place. The reason I thought that was because usually in payday the assets that are not being used are just stored outside the map out of bounds so i thought maybe the spider would spawn outside of the bounds but not in this case it just deloads and loads when it is needed but that is it thank you all for watching if you want me to explore more maps out of bounds i can do that comment a map you actually want to see the out of bounds world in and i will make a video on that thank you all for watching and Goodbye and God bless.